A rectangular plot, 54 meter long and 46 meter wide, has two concrete crossroads of equal width running in the middle of the plot. One parallel to the length and the other parallel to the breadth. The rest of the plot is used as park. If the area of the park is 1833 square meter, then find the width of each of the crossroads. So it's all about, you know, drawing the diagram properly. Okay. So what does it say? There is a rectangular plot. The length and breadth are 54 and 46 respectively. So let's draw that. Let's say this is the rectangular plot. The length is 54 and the breadth is and the breadth is 46. Right, 54 and 46 respectively. Right. Now you see there are two concrete crossroads of equal width running in the middle of the plot. And one of these roads is parallel to the length, the other is parallel to the breadth. So there is one concrete crossroad parallel to the length. So how will it look like? Like this. You see this is a this, this is a crossroad of some width, let's say W. Right? The width is W. It is running parallel to the length of the plot. And then there is another road which is parallel to the breadth, like this, of equal width. So this also is w meters wide let's say so these are the two crossroads the rest of the area is used as a park so what is the park here the rest of the area so let, let me highlight that here you don't have to do all this drama in the exam but just because i have the luxury of using different colors i'm trying to you know, use a green color to show the park so this green shaded region is the park the area of this park here is how much 1833 square meter he's asking us to find out the uh, width of each of the crossroads find the width of each of the crossroads okay now understand from the question we know that area of this park is 1833 what do you think the area of the park will be in terms of this 54 46 and w see understand if you if you look at the total length of the park i mean if you join these four parts together if you join these four green shaded regions together what happens this length will be this plus this how much is this total length 54 minus w are you able to follow from the total length 54 if you subtract w see if you join the four parts this park will be like a rectangular plot only if you join all the four pieces together right if you stitch all the four pieces together the park will be like a rectangle right now so length of that rectangle will be how much total 54 is the length minus w right so i can say you know basically l into b equals to 1833 but that l is how much that l is 54 minus w what is the breadth in a similar fashion when you join the breadths what happens total breadth is 46 minus this w so 46 minus w 1833 one equation one variable solve there's only this one equation that we have in terms of w solve and you'll get the answer or maybe if you don't want to solve this quadratic this will give a quadratic equation definitely so if you don't want to solve the quadratic equation go by the options substitute the options one after the other in place of w and see which one satisfies you're getting it anyway if even if you you know simplify this further what do we get say 54 minus w 46 minus w minus 100 w totally anyway first step is 54 into 46 how much is 54 into 46 this is like 50 plus 4 50 minus 4 a plus b into a minus b a squared minus b squared so 2500 minus 16 2484 minus 46 w minus 54 w is minus 100 w and minus w into minus w is plus w squared equals to 1833 so upon further simplification we get w squared minus 100 w see w squared minus 100 w now 2484 minus 1833 so 2400 minus 1800 is 600 and 84 minus 33 is 51 651 equals to 0 i mean cut down the number of steps i'm sure you will not write the first two steps here right area of the park is 1833 l into b is 1833 directly start from this step onwards okay this one this one and this one so what do we get w square minus 100 w is 651 substitute the options one after the other if you have enough time you can solve the quality equation but why do you want to do that substitute the options see what happens 8 substitute option 1 8 64 minus 800 64 minus 800 is how much minus 746 minus 736 sorry Minus 736 plus 651 will not give you 0. So option 1 is eliminated. 3.5 is clearly ruled out because if you take 3.5 square, you will get a decimal part and that decimal part will not balance to 0 anyway. So option 2 is eliminated. Option 3, 7. So 7 squared 49, 100 into 7, 700. So 49 minus 700. Look at this, substitute 7, right? Substitute 7. 49 minus 700 is minus 651. Minus 651 plus 651 plus 651 is 0. So option 3 is the answer.